something that came to my mind recently, mainly because I have uh, a damaged knee. And the funny thing is, I'm actually doing a MRI scan on my knee. Fun, eh? <laughs> the thing is, why I'm even speaking about my knees because it's giving me a lot of pain but also a lot of perspectives because I have two options either I can see that I'm suffering and complain about that or B just be conscious of my pain and do what I can I've been to a physical therapist today, I mean, because of my knee, and she told me this, uh, you're gonna train in a specific way, you're gonna do some rehabilitation for your knee, uh, it's on, in your knee you have so-called ligaments, and these ligaments are basically broken. She diagnosed me with something called, I think in English, jumping knee and that can take up to a year to repair and during that year I'm probably not going to be able to lift as much weight that I'm used to lifting of course that that feels kind of sad in some way because I'm used to you know squatting 120 kilos and 130 kilos and 140 kilos, you know, one rep maxing. But unfortunately, I cannot do that. So all I can do now is be patient and conscious. And whenever I am, am in pain, I can only reflect and try to learn from my pain. Because in the end, without pain, how are you supposed to make sense of life? You know, we all, we, it's kind of cliche in some ways that we all know pain is good because otherwise we are not capable of enjoying that which is good. You know, without rain, there's no sunshine without rain, as they say. And it's so true. And in my situation, it's, it's so true. It's so true to my situation right now. And all I can say is, my pain has taught me a lot. I'm not going to glorify it or want people to feel sorry for me. No, that's not what I want. I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I'm not going to go around and complain about my pain. All I can do is ask for help, ask for guidance. I cannot fix my knee. I'm not going to fix my pain. That's not what I want. I don't want to fix my pain. The pain is just a symptom of a problem that I have. And that's the same in life. Whenever you have a pain or some sort of resist resistance, you're probably dealing with some sort of problem. Like you're distracted. You don't want to clean your room. That's what I talked about yesterday. You don't want to clean your room. So what do you do? You procrastinate because it's kind of painful mentally to deal with it. So the pain in and of itself is just an indicator of a problem that you have. So what I'm going to strive towards is dealing with my problem. I'm going to listen to my physical therapist. I'm going to do the instructions that I need to re rehabilitate my knee. I'm going to research on my own on how to fix and repair the ligaments in my knee. I have a very good friend of mine and he's probably watching this video, I hope. I'm going to talk to him a lot because he had the same problem about one or two years ago. So I'm going to do all in my power to fix this problem. But I'm not going to do what I cannot do. I'm not going to focus on that which I cannot control. Because I cannot control for how long I will be in pain and for how long... It will take to heal my knee. I cannot do that. If it takes a year, then it will take a year. If it takes six months, it will take six months. All I can do is take the steps. 
and not focus on the out outcome. Because if I focus on the outcome of, outcome of being healthy again, that, that's not my problem. My problem is not I'm unhealthy. My problem is my knee, right? My problem is my knee. I cannot focus on, okay, I have a goal in mind. In one year, I'm going to be healthy once again. I'm going to be able to and capable of training as I used to be. Right? If I focus on that, I'm not going to focus on my problem. Because what can that lead to? It can lead to me taking measurements that are not in my best interest it would probably lead to me being so desperate to solving the problem because I have this fixed date or goal in mind and thus I will rush I don't need to rush this I cannot rush this this is my body I cannot force my body to heal now and yeah whatever you may say yo yeah yo dispensa the chiropractor that are capable of teaching you to heal with your mind. Yes. Yes. I believe in all of that stuff. But, you know, there's something we cannot control. We can control a lot of stuff in our day-to-day -day lives. We are much of very, very, very powerful. Human beings are very powerful. They are capable of amazing feats. But there's something you cannot control. It's time. Time in and of itself doesn't exist within our frame. So all I can do is live within myself. I cannot live within time. Time is outside of me. So whatever is outside of me. I'm not gonna focus on that. I cannot I can only focus on that which is inside of me. I can focus on doing the exercises that I'm supposed to do to heal my knee. I can focus on taking the supplements that I need to repair my knee once again. I can focus on meditating to heal my mind and thus heal my body because mind and body are intricate it's an intricate system. Or very much yeah correlated with each other that's what i can control you know and i'm gonna use this time now to really reflect upon my pain and see it as a teacher because i'm probably gonna live uh, hopefully towards 100 years and my knees and gonna be the only thing that's gonna be painful in my life my dad is going to die one day my friends are going to die one day perhaps my business will fail I don't know what can happen really so taking this time with a very small minor thing in my life maybe it's just my knee you know it's not that big of an issue I'm not suffering financially because of my knee. I'm not really suffering mentally because of my knee. I mean, in some ways I'm suffering mentally, <laughs> of course, because I am not capable of training in a way that I'm used to training, but I can adapt. I can adapt, that was what I can do. That's in my control. I can adapt to my pain. I can adapt to my weak knee. My, my body has become more my muscles in my legs have become weaker because I'm not able to lift as heavy now, right? That's what I can focus on. So I'm going to focus on that. I guess that's all I really had to say. I just wanted to reflect and tell you about how you can use pain as a teacher. Because pain is good. I like pain. And I'm going to quote something from a book that I wrote. I have a book that I reflect a lot in. And I use it to troubleshoot certain problems of my 
in my day-to-day -day life. And I'm going to remember a quote from that book. Thank you, God, for all the troubles and strife that you have brought upon me. Because without them, I will just be a simple creature living in the dark. But thanks to the pain, I can see the light. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay great.